Hi, I'm Dr. Poe Raval, a practicing podiatrist for over 35 years and the inventor of Archmaker, uh, which is available on Amazon for my chronic plantar fasciitis patients. So today I wanted to talk to you about um, what causes inflammation. So what causes, for instance, the inflammation for um, plantar fasciitis or arch pain? Inflammation comes in two types. Um, one is good, one is bad. So one is what we call um, inflammation that's a defense mechanism. And the second is inflammation uh, that is um, kind of from an overuse. All right, so there's defense and there's overuse. So defense is a good inflammation. That means your muscle is getting inflamed because um, you're either doing too much, you need more shock absorption, you need to stretch more. Um, it tends to be short acting. It responds to pain management, physical therapy, anti-inflammatories, um, insoles. So people have inflammation just from using their muscle, but this is a, a defense mechanism so that you don't get worse. If we don't listen to it, then we get to the next stage. Um, the next stage is um, chronic inflammation, and this is called bad inflammation. It's from overuse injuries. So we're not listening to our natural cues to kind of slow down, and we just keep powering through it. We end up with something chronic. So chronic means that you're going through a process of anti-inflammatory, stretching, physical therapy, insoles, and nothing's working. Um, and this is not where we want to be, <laughs> but I did, um, invent Archmaker for plantar fasciitis, a type of inflammation for these chronic people. My patients happen to be, um, using Archmaker because they've done everything right, yet you're, they're in this chronic phase. So, um, we've talked about all, there's a link actually in my profile that shows you, um, things that can be done for plantar fasciitis, um, at this stage of chronicness, um, or, or, uh, as a defense mechanism and the, the procedure to follow, you can follow these things on any muscle belly. So, uh, check out the link, but another treatment that's come into focus, especially in the blue zones all over the world is, um, if you're not familiar with blue zones, these are people that live to old age with very little injury or pain. And so diet becomes a big part of what keeps them um, living an active, pain-free life. Um, Tom Brady, uh, quarterback, <laughs> um, also follows something uh, that we, we would consider kind of an anti-inflammatory um, diet. And that includes a lot of raw vegetables, unprocessed meats and vegetables, um, uh, uh, foods that are very rich in nutrients, um, but don't have high fats or processing um, things that are bad for you. So if you start to slowly change your diet, it has definitely been shown um, to decrease inflammation. Um, a lot of you may not also know about kefir, K-E-F-I-R. So kefir is um, a probiotic. It is drinkable. Um, there is a lot of research on this. It's a fermented drink um, and it decreases cytokines. So cytokines increase when there's more inflammation. And it's one of the drinks that's been shown to decrease cytokines. So you can definitely add kefir um, to your diet. Uh, definitely a drink a day. Eight ounces is what we usually go by if you can't stand it. Four ounces or two ounces at each meal. Um, kefir is certainly um, a, a supplement uh, to an, um, a, a uh, nutrient-rich raw diet. All right, so I hope that helps um, that this is why we get inflammation, the types of inflammation and some of the newer re newest research on how we can um, decrease the chance of inflammation and live a closer pain-free life. Hope that helps.